So to update your Minecraft server, it's actually very simple. So as you can see, I've got my example server here. And if we go into it, you'll notice a 1.19.2 server. And today I'm going to update it to a 1.20 server. However, if you're watching this video in the future, this will apply to any future version of Minecraft. So the first thing we need to do is create a backup of our Minecraft server. To do this, you just want to copy it and paste it somewhere else on your computer. So if things do happen to go wrong, you've got a backed up version ready to go. So now we've got our server backed up, we just need to start upgrading it. So to do this, you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to this website here and I'll leave a link in the description. From here, this is where you can find the latest version of your Minecraft server. So to get it, we just want to click on the Minecraft server link. And in this case, I'm going to save it onto my desktop just for the time being. So now we've got our new updated server program, we just need to replace it with the old one. So to do this, we just need to open our Minecraft server folder and you just want to drag and drop the new server program into the Minecraft server folder. So as you can see, we've got our new program here and our old program here. And all we need to do now is just delete the old program. So now we've got our new Minecraft server installed, we just need to configure our batch file to make sure it runs correctly. So before we do this, I'm going to rename my Minecraft server file to server underscore 1.20, just so I know what version it is. From here, you just want to right click on your start server batch file, click on show more options, and then you want to click on edit. This should open the batch file code in a notepad. From here, we just need to change the Minecraft server file name to what we've just changed it to. So in this case, it's going to be server underscore 1.20. Once you've done this, you can save the batch file and exit out of it. So all we need to do now is to run our server just as we normally would and it's going to run the new Minecraft server on the new version that we've just updated to. Now because it's a new version this may take a little bit longer than usual. So now our updated server is running we can go ahead and launch our updated version of Minecraft and start playing on the server just as we normally would. So as you can see I'm currently on my server and I'm currently running on the new 1.20 update which was previously 1.19.2. And that is all you need to do to update your Minecraft server to the newest version. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.